It only takes one spark to start a wildfire that can spread for miles and rage for days. With our climate changing and land becoming drier, it's providing the perfect conditions for wildfires to blaze. And even in traditionally cooler parts of the world, wildfires are becoming more unpredictable. Mist and cloud are dominating the skyline today, but back in the summer it was very different. It had been particularly dry, and this piece of moorland in West Calder, just outside of Edinburgh, burned for three days. It took 60 firefighters and 12 appliances to eventually bring it under control. Dr Tom Smith is a wildfire expert. I believe you're at the site of a summer grassland fire in Scotland, which is very unusual. Uh, fires normally occur in the spring when the heather fuels have dried out and become available to burn before they green up and contain lots of moisture. That usually stops the fires from happening in the summer in Scotland. Uh, but what you've seen is that the grasses have got so dry that they were available to burn in, in August. We're seeing these longer, hotter, drier spells, and that's predicted to continue through the rest of this century until we do something about carbon emissions and, and reduce the level of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. How important is acting early, early detection and, and, and trying to get on top of things as quickly as possible? First of all, there's prevention, and, and that's identifying parts of the landscape that are most at risk from fires. We model fires on a landscape using computers. We drop ignitions onto simulations and look at where the fire might spread. So that's one key kind of tool in our toolbox. Another one is being prepared. So apart from prevention, we can prepare. But could technology help to catch wildfires before they take hold? We've come to the Bay Centre at Edinburgh University to find out. And to do that, we need to go up. Andre Chung is CEO of Robotic Cat. They've developed AI detection systems trained to spot the early signs of wildfires. In most part of the world, uh, the firefighters have a really challenging job. They don't have enough resources to hire enough first responder firefighters to pull all fires. If they can find a fire earlier, okay, it uses less resources to control them. That's a critical point. Using cameras in itself isn't new, but currently many systems rely on manual judgment. What robotic cats have done is to teach the AI to recognize the signs of fire far earlier. Um, so obviously we don't have a fire that we can look for here in Edinburgh, but we've set up a screen looking at, where is this, Andre? This is a um, control burns in Hong Kong, in the remote areas. And we're going to see if this camera can detect it? Yes. Okay. My phone is taking images of the video and sent to the AI. And then the AI will run analytics to, on the images to see if it finds any fire-like signal. And hopefully we'll get the alert on your phone. Yep. That's the images, uh, real-time detection. We see the image and then the highlight of the fire is fine. It's here. Yeah, so the alerts come through. I didn't even notice that, but the camera did. The AI did. The AI and, did. Uh, it detect, we trained the AI using uh, a lot of uh, early stage wildfires, and then the AI will run analytics to, on the images to see if it finds any fire-like signal. The inherent risk of wildfires means this is a space in which the tech has had to grow. Across the world, different techniques are being employed, from giant sprinklers in Spain to infrared cameras in America. AI will have its place, but ultimately the aim is the same, to detect wildfires as quickly as possible and to protect the lives they threaten. <laughs>